Hello and welcome back guys, Minecraft with Dummies here and today I've got my item sorter version 2. Now my last one wasn't tileable completely because it used water, it was slow because it had soul sand and if you put in like a stack of items it would actually break. This new one however cancels out all those problems so it's completely tileable as you can see I've done it for ages here. Uh, it's much faster because it just uses hoppers on the top and it is actually smaller. Um, and this is all because of a new change from the snapshot. So basically, I'm in the pre-release now, so I'm pretty sure this should work in 1.5. And the change is that before an item going through this sort of system would um, distribute them randomly between these two, and so you wouldn't always it wouldn't always go to the bottom one. However, due to new changes, now if you chuck in any amount of items, it will always go to the bottom one, and it will never go through to this one. So this means that it always pulls out items before it pushes them along. Which means that you can now just put hoppers along the top, making this incredibly easy, fast and reliable. So as you can see, all 32 will be down here. So now if I just do a little test, I can just show you it will work. So if I just do it with, let's say, some blue wool, and we'll go right to the end to show you it's um, fully tileable. We'll get some diamond blocks as well. Now if I just chuck these in here you need to have one gap at the end because if you put them all in here and it's going to the white one then it won't work properly but if you put it in here they'll also they'll filter out one at a time which means it'll always work no matter how many you put in so this first one's blue and it will probably already be filtering already but I'm not going to open the chest because it's a trap chest which is a bit of a silly one to pick the diamond one however isn't so I'll show you that in a moment so as you can see they are filtering but as I said it's a trap test trapped chest which will block the signal, which means I can't look until it's done. But you can see it's working because this light's on. Only when this light turns off will I know it's done. So we'll just, there you go, that one ran out of power. And now we'll have 64 in here. And this goes with the diamond blocks as well. So this will just make its way along here. Realize it can't go in any of these. And then it will work its way into here in the end. So as you can see, there's no, none in here at the moment. And You'll see this light. See now it's filtering through because this is getting a signal strength of two. Because this is going up, as you can see. And this ends up down here, which means you'll it will filter through nice and quickly. So basically how this is working is each of these have 22 items in initially. And basically when an item, a new item comes in, that will increase the signal strength one more. And then it will go through a repeater turning off this torch so it will let through one more each time and so if the signal strength stays on it will just keep on um, keep on filtering them through until it is back to 22 again and then then it will stop in this case I've put in um, all of one, 22 of one item but if you're really um, desperate to save some space you can just do one and then use 21 of um, another item but it would be preferable to use an item that you're not going to know. So, I mean, that you're not going to be filtering. So something like, um, I don't know, something completely random. Something like jungle saplings that you're not going to be filtering. Just fill it up with that. And then that will do it for you. So it is incredibly easy to build. All you need to do is make this shape out of um, uh, blocks. Any ones you like. Put a repeater down here. Because, yeah, and then like this. So it's in this shape. Put two pieces of redstone here one comparator up here and a torch here and then you just need to put on your hoppers so make sure your hoppers facing this way down the bottom because then you can put it into a chest for more storage um, this one needs to be facing into the comparator or in the other direction otherwise it won't work so that's very important to make sure you do that and then obviously at the top you just make sure it's going in the ice in the direction of travel so if we're going this way then make it do that and as I said, you need to make sure that this one, there's at least one before it at the very start. Otherwise, it can get um, blocked up at the start. So just make sure there's one single at the end. And also, another little trick, at the other end, you can just put in a hopper that goes straight down. And then that just catches any leftovers that aren't actually being filtered. So, for example, redstone is not being filtered along here. So, as you can see, none of these are redstone. I've just put blocks so you can see... Where, which things are being filtered and because none of these will do it it will just end up here in a moment there you go simple now thank you very much if you've made it this far and you actually get to have a little bonus invention and that is a change in the um, item lock with wrong item detection 
Now, because of these changes I've just told you about, you can actually make it much smaller by doing it like this. Because now there's no need to slow it down. So if it's the right item, it will go in here and go down. However, if it's the wrong item, it will actually um, just go straight into here. And then you can just take an output from there. And this output could be taken from this piece of redstone. So it's fairly easy to follow. And so yeah, if you, if you like this, you can use it as well. So thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And please do leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.